Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna talk about how to get out of silver. A long time ago, I made a video on wire silver and I talked about how I was gonna make a video on how to get out and I never actually got around to it. So here's the time. It's the end of season 11 and I'm sure a lot of you are trying to make that final push to gold to get that border and to show your friends that you're just that much better than them. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do it. But guys, before we get into that, YouTube tells me that a large percentage of the people that are watching this video are not subscribed to the channel. So if you do enjoy the video, please consider subscribing. All right, the first way to get out of silver is to play one easy champion. Now this allows you to do a couple of things that really let you learn the game. One of these is that it allows you to learn macro. If you're constantly playing new champions, your brain just doesn't know what to do in different situations and you don't really know how to play the game from the standpoint of that champion. It also allows you to think about the game at large when you're in different situations. If you're late game and really fed, you'll know what to do. But if you're also really behind in the end game, you're not going to be wondering what to do on the champion because you played them a lot before and you know what to do in that situation. Now, if you don't know what champion to play or which champion fits your play style, then just take some time to try out different champions. Look at the ones that are free each week. Just try out a bunch of different champions and then figure out which one you like. So many people are worried about the meta in silver, but guys, the meta cannot matter any less than it does in silver. It's really just a distraction that takes you away from learning that champion, their build, their matchups, how to play them at different stages of the game. And as you jumping around to a bunch of different ones. So don't worry about the meta. Find a champion that you just enjoy playing and spam a lot of games in it. All right, guys, quickly before we get to the next step, I want to promote my course, The Ticket to Diamond Blueprint and my private Discord server. You can find all the information that you need in order to climb on YouTube and on the internet. But if you want it all in one place and to be a part of a community and have time with me regularly to go over VOD reviews, then join The Ticket to Diamond Blueprint and use code SEASON11 for $35 off all the way until November. It's going to change the way you see this game and change the way you climb. So if you're interested at all, go ahead and check out the link at the top of the description. The second way to get out of silver is to watch pro replays and especially during the laning phase. Look at how the high level players manage their wave in different situations. How do they play the first three levels of the wave? These are arguably the three most important levels in the game because they set up everything that's going to happen. And don't just watch any random replays. Find a pro that plays a champion that you're playing or a high elo player and then learn what they do. Learn when they trade, why they trade, at what level. Are they ahead in any way? Are they behind? Where's the wave at? Where's the jungler? Where's the enemy jungler? Like what, what other neutral objectives are on the map? Try to think about what's going on as they do different things in the game. Also check when and how they ward. And not just that, but look at the game around them. Look at where their teammates are. See if the scuttle crab is up. See if dragon's up. See if rift herald is up. See if it's 14 minutes yet and see if plates are still up. Try to take a step into their mind and figure out the why behind what they do. It's important to copy pros and high elo players. And for a long time, I said that you should just do this and you'll get really far, which is true. But I think also if you're trying to take your game to the next level, you want to learn why players do different things because in your own games, you're going to be able to apply that knowledge, apply that why to your situations that you find yourself in. And overall, learning the why will give you a more rounded approach to the game. I stress that you watch the laning phase, but the second thing I want you to do in those replays is figure out what they do outside of the laning phase, 15 minutes and beyond. Now you don't need to scrutinize their macro by any means, but learn where they go. If you're a top laner and you play a split push champion, learn when they're in a side lane and when they group. Try to figure out why they're doing what they're doing and where they're going. You'll see that these high level players don't just a ram mid for 30 minutes to see who wins the most team fights and wins the game. There's a lot more happening at a macro level that you can definitely benefit from. When do they group? When do they farm? How far do they farm in the way before grouping? Do they ever flank? Look at where they ward. Look at where they're positioning before and during team fights. Just a lot of things that you can keep in mind as you're looking at the post 15 minute part of the game. So focus on the laning phase and then what they do outside of the laning phase. The third step is to mute all. Now, I know this is a hard one for some people because you're really concerned about communication and being able to type to your teammates and all that. But honestly, it really doesn't matter. Pings are so sophisticated at this point in the game. Seasons and seasons ago, we didn't have like the this is warded ping. So we would just spam ping bushes. You do not need text in order to climb out of silver. You do not need text to climb to any rank in League of Legends. In fact, it helps your mental because it's so easy to get tilted in these games. It's so easy to also get distracted and die if you're randomly typing in lane. And most importantly, 90% of the chat that happens is just flame and unnecessary, especially if you're trying to play a lot of games and get to the rank that you want. And especially in silver, we all know that people have weak mentals. They're not overly attached to the game. So if you say one wrong word, you have an enter, a troll, or some 
someone just leaving the game. And also the same thing for you. You don't want to be thrown off your game by people that are toxic. So for your sake and your teammates sake, turn off chat. You'll thank me later. The fourth step to get out of silver is to learn how to play with a lead on a specific champion and specifically the champion that you are learning by watching pro replays and spamming them in games to learn the matchups and how to properly build that champion. And when you learn all these things, you want to learn how to keep a lead because when you're learning how to play a champion, hopefully you'll know how to get solo kills and how to play them in team fights. And hopefully you're learning how to build a lead for yourself. But commonly in silver, it's like ping pong. You just throw the lead to the other team and they hit it back and then you hit it back to them. It happens all the time. Learn how to freeze waves. Learn how to relentlessly shove your wave and pressure the tower to get some plates to choke them out. Maybe dive, like learn what to do when you're ahead. Don't just sit back, keep your foot on the gas pedal and keep pressuring your opponent. Learn when to roam, when not to roam. Sometimes players think that they need to roam to every other single lane when they get a lead to help their teammates. But what they do is allow their opponent to get even in gold and experience because they've been out running around the map, not getting either of those. Learn when you should try to take towers, when you need to steal jungle camps, when you should group for neutral objectives, and when you should split push. And most importantly, do not randomly team fight and die if you are not certain you can win that fight and certain you won't die. If you're five and no, you have a thousand gold shutdown, and you don't want to just throw that to the other team and give them a pickaxe and boots. Shutdowns are Riot's way of making this game more comebackable, and so that you just throw gold to the other team. So press tab every once in a while if you're ahead to see if you have a shutdown. And if you do, you need to play a little bit safer. You need to know that you can't just jump in 1v5 because even if you get a couple of kills, you're handing over a massive shutdown to the AD carry. Only pick fights that are even in numbers or where you have an advantage. And make sure that you don't blow your entire combo on the support player and just die to the others. It's totally not worth it. Team fighting is the number one way that low elo players lose. You will have to team fight in most games, so learn how to do it with the lead. It's a great way to end games, but it's also a great way to throw games. So just learn how to play with a lead. And also kind of a sub point is learn how to play from behind. Now, getting behind happens a lot, especially when you are learning this game. When you fall behind in the laning phase, it does not mean that you deserve to lose the overall game. Stick in it. Players throw the game all the time. Remember what I said about shutdown gold? Try to group up with your team and get a pick on the most fed person or just allow the other team to run at you and just kill them. You'll find that it's so easy to come back in games that you fall behind in because players don't know how to play with a lead. So learn how to freeze at your tier two tower. Learn how to group on objectives and force team fights to see if you can get some gold out of the other team and maybe get lucky and win that team fight. Learn how to farm everything you can and get as much XP and gold as you can when you're behind. Learning a couple of these things will propel you on your track to get to the rank that you want because you're not only winning games that you get ahead in, but you're also coming back in 20 to 40% of the games that you fall behind in. And this is going to give you a really high win rate and allow you to get to the rank that you want on fewer games. All right, now the last step I have to get out of silver is a controversial one and a lot of players don't want to hear it, but it's just play 100 to 200 games. If you're silver and you only have 20 games played, you're probably not actually silver and your MMR is probably way higher than your current rank. Now it might only be a couple of divisions, but that's all it takes to propel you into the rank that you want to get to. If you're silver four or silver three and you only have 15 games played this season, you're probably more of like a silver two, silver one, MMR, so it'll be easy to get back to that rank and then progress even farther if you play around 100 to 200 games. Also, if you take my advice from earlier and play one champion that you really enjoy and know a lot about, playing a lot of these games will give you the experience you need in order to climb to that rank. Guys, getting out of silver is really easy, but it happens to kind of be the sus pool of League of Legends with 30 to 40% of all the player base ending up in this tier. So take the time to learn and play those games. 